What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix the sound or every kind of sound issue you're currently having in Titanfall 2. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. In the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work in YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step I want you to do is gonna be to check your USB port, check your aux port. Just simply switch it if you could switch it because sometimes the port could be broken. Next step is gonna be to navigate to your bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings. Navigating to the first one where it says system and just stick with the second one where it says sound. And now you could see that there are two things to check. So first of all, we're gonna start with our output. So what I want you to do is gonna be to choose your right output device, choose that. Afterwards, click into troubleshoot and use Windows to search, search for any kind of issues that could currently occur. If nothing pops up, simply click into device properties. First of all, I want you to have a look at disable. If it isn't disabled, just navigate to the right hand side, click into additional device properties and go to device usage and check if this is enabled. Next step is gonna to be to click into levels and check if your levels are something between three and 100. Next step is gonna to be to click into advanced and I can really tell you now which the main or the best audio channel is for you. So just check it for yourself, click into test and check it. And once you're finished, just simply click apply and okay. Afterwards, I want you to return back once and click into input. What I want you to do is gonna to be to choose your input device. Again, choose it. Afterwards, click into troubleshoot, use Windows in order to find some issues. If nothing pops up, click onto device properties. Afterwards, I want you to have a look at disable and you could also test your mic. Next step is gonna be to navigate to the right hand side, click onto additional device properties and have a look at use or on device usage and enable if this is enabled. Afterwards, click onto levels and again, have a look at your mic levels. This should be like between 70 and 100. Afterwards, click into advance, and again, you need to check for your system specifically, which your main audio channel is. Afterwards, hit apply and okay. That's it for the video. I hope that it would actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.